Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm sitting in our 2023 uh, Tesla Model Y, uh, rear wheel drive with the LFP battery chemistry. And today we're going to do a 0 to 100 kilometer an hour acceleration test, uh, comparing uh, standard mode and chill mode for the acceleration. Uh, so to set your car's uh, acceleration mode, go to uh, settings and go to pedals and steering. And currently I've got it on standard. So that's our first test for today. We'll do it on standard. And uh, I've also uh, got race box at the moment set up, connected to my phone via Bluetooth. And that'll give us a good time for zero to 100 kilometer an hour because it is GPS based uh, running at 25 Hertz. So super accurate there. We've got the one foot rollout on as well. Okay, let's uh, get going for the first test, which is standard mode. All right, three, two, one. Okay, there we go, zero to 100. 6.43 seconds on standard mode. As you can see, uh, not that much thrill on my face compared to the 3.4 seconds we achieved in the uh, Tesla Model 3 performance uh, earlier this month. So yeah, okay, 6.43. I think that's in line with what uh, Tesla tell us on the website. Um, certainly that first part of the uh, acceleration phase, it's certainly, you can feel that sort of dragging a little bit. Um, and zero to 60 kph in 3.46. So uh, in that same amount of time, um, our other car would have reached 100 kilometers an hour. And nevertheless, there you go. That's uh, the time we've recorded for zero to 100 in this Tesla Model Y on standard mode. So what we'll do now is go back and do that again on chill mode. And you can see the difference between the two configurations. I'll see you very soon. Okay, so take two, we're gonna go into chill mode now, back to uh, pedals and steering, back to chill. There we go, let's put race box on, which it is, and we'll do a standing start. All right, three, two, one, go. Chill mode, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Zero to 107.37 seconds. Okay, so, you know, that's a second slower than uh, standard mode, which was, I think, 6.4. 6.4 seconds, something like that. So, uh, and zero to 60 was 3.57. So not that much slower uh, for that zero to 60 time. I guess we'll see, um, we'll just compare the two and see what the difference is. All right, now we can have a look at the differences between uh, standard mode and chill mode uh, from the Racebox app, which gives us a lot of data, which is fantastic. The left-hand side in blue is uh, 6.43 seconds in the standard mode. And then on the right-hand side is 7.37 seconds in chill mode in red. Uh, slope was uh, minus 1.2% for both, so corrected the same. And you can see in the blue line, it's pretty much linear all the way up. It does tell up a little bit at the end there as we get to about 90 kilometers an hour. Uh, definitely for the red line, which is the slower chill mode, it tails off starting from about 55 kilometers an hour compared to the uh, standard mode. And that's probably all software locked, by the way, just or software changed, um, that chill mode in red tapering off very quickly there. And that's the difference. It sort of starts off very similar between the two modes until we get to about 55 kilometers an hour. And that's when the chill mode tails off and gives us that slower time of 7.37 seconds for zero to 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, elevation was the same between the two, or very similar. And then the G-force changes, you can see it tails off or drops away very quickly after about 1.6 seconds and definitely tails off a lot more compared to, uh, uh, compared to the standard mode in blue when you look at the red in chill mode. So yeah, this race box data gives us a lot of information, which is great. Um, really good to see the differences between the two on the 2023 rear wheel drive LFP Tesla Model Y. And looking at some more numbers between the two modes, left side on standard, right side on chill, uh, max G-force 0.45 G and 0.44 G, so very similar. Uh, start end elevation, similar-ish, a little bit higher on the uh, on the standard mode on the bottom left. Corrected time 6.65 seconds on the left for standard, 7.67 corrected on the right for, for chill. Weather was the same, it was the same day we did this. Um, density altitude, very similar. And then you can see the different times from 0 to 10, 0 to 20, 0 to 30, 0 to 40, all the way up to 0 to 90, and of course 0 to 100 as well, uh, between the two standard and chill modes. And just for fun, I thought I'd put up the results from our 2019 Tesla Model 3 performance, uh, which we've since uh, traded in for this uh, 2023 Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive. And uh, these were the results from that 0 to 100 kilometer an hour test earlier this month. As you can see in red, 
uh, it's a stark difference to the results from today in blue. You can see uh, how much quicker the uh, Model 3 performance is clocking in at 3.42 seconds for 0 to 100 km an hour, uh, taking only 56 meters to reach that time, uh, whereas Model Y needed 102 meters to reach that uh, speed in 6.43 seconds. And you can see the G-forces on the right screenshot were much higher in the red uh, Model 3 performance versus the uh, 2023 rear-wheel drive Model Y in blue. The Model Y was only halfway through its run uh, when the G-forces were already coming down for the Model 3 performance because it had almost reached uh, 3.42 seconds. It's just uh, phenomenal how much acceleration that uh, Model 3 could achieve in a production vehicle. All right, everyone, thanks so much. You've been watching Tesla Tom from Ludicrous Feed, uh, testing chill versus standard mode in the 2023 Tesla Model Y rear-wheel drive. Until the next Ludicrous Feed video, happy charging.